Burning rubber. Hyper jump. Tonight on Fact of Fate, Paranormal Files, former FBI agent Ben Henson leads his group of investigators to uncover the secrets behind the best, most baffling paranormal footage ever captured. Whoa, they break every down every clip and put each case the ultimate test. I think to, it could be easily manipulated. So they try to recreate it. The world's most mysterious footage. Oh my God, through a series of incredible experiments using fake cutting edge technology, determined once and for all. Each case is fact. Hey, we just found some bones. Or fate. Oh my God, oh my goodness. There's a fire of salsa. We're getting a series of lights right there. Oh my God, what the heck is it? That kill the lights. My name is Ben Henson. Well, I'm telling you science unless you see something on camera. I've been investigating the paranormal since I was 10 years old, growing up in Utah. I used to be with the FBI, but after I left the Bureau, I took my paranormal investigations to the next level. A few years ago, I set up a team to join me in my search for the truth. When we never ate the videos that were sent to us. We asked the following questions. Is the footage compelling? Is the eyewitness credible? Can we test it? Together with my team... We are out to solve whether the cases of fact or fate. Okay, guys, I'm excited about these clips. I want to see what we've, we've all brought to the table today. All right, guys. I got a real, really good video. It's from Connecticut. It actually concerned a ghost town. It's, mo- it's most famous for its haunted forest. He's claiming he's a, it's a ghost from the legends of theories of the area. Can I go ahead and show you the video? Tell me what you guys think. Okay. Okay, what, what, what's the long tree line? Joel, whoa, whoa, do you see that? Oh, Ian, Clay and Chien, there it goes. Oh, it's right there, yeah, like a sharp shadow. Do you see it? Ben, pull it back, put it back. Bill, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. He's very, very light, shadowy figure right there, right, man? No way, Shillian. It almost looks like he has limbs when he crosses his section here. Okay, wait, wait one second. I think it concerns me with this video. It's that guy, he's all worked up. He's breathing heavily. It's almost like he's anticipating it to come out. Or maybe we already saw it. When I grabbed the cat's camera, and he was shooting, and it came across it again. Then you would think that's how it would have happened. I can see a lot of CG in that video, being a huge probability. I am, Finch- I am with Chilean. I think it's fake. I think it could be easily manipulated. Okay, let's have let's move on. Well, Bill, what do you have? I got an alien induction case out of Florida. This is a couple that have claimed they've had an alien visitations abductions repeatedly. In this case, they got video. Okay, it's moving. So this is surveillance camera. Yes, in the bedroom. The feeder has for reservations. It happened. So they set up a surveillance cam in the room. Now you see something walking in. This is a time lapse video. The frame's gonna is gonna be soldering. Where is this at, Bill? Florida. It's not an alligator. Jeb, it doesn't look like that that like that clear. And so it looks like it looks like a, it could be a kid chilling in the air. I mean it doesn't walk into the bedroom room completely. It looks like it's just poking its head in. Turning around or just staying there. Larry, what do you think of this the video itself? Uh, it's kinda of unclear. It never, fully, it never fully enters the room. I mean, it's could be something you, something on the broomstick. Somebody's poking in there. In fact, we discussed so much. It's a really intriguing video. I would love to investigate this. I want more background to the, on these people and that, exactly what happened to them. I personally say fate. But I say, well, some research, take it from the here. The here. But I don't want to do completely throw this out of the now, okay? But at the same time, we don't know quite enough to work off. All right, let's try to get a little more information on the family's background and location. Let's see if there's any other similarity, similar occurrences in the area. I have a ghost car. A ghost car in Savannah, Georgia, slightly outside in town called Garden City. This is a was shot from video camera mounted inside a police car. Now he's pursuing a vehicle. What are you doing? Which is doing some very erratic movers, and it ends up in a very strange way. Here we go. Here we go. Look. Like it starts out a normal pursuit, turns into high speed. I mean, this guy's really clucking it. And here, he's swearing back and forth, 
kind of strange manoeuvre. I know he turns, does this U-turn. That's the point. There's this point where the officer following him makes that U-turn. He's far, away, far up ahead of him. A lot of people are saying there's a kind of extra, something extraordinary. Car takes off for that quickly. So now let's watch this part. Comes down the dirt road. The officer's still following pretty closely at this point. But you see that his time's left. He lays, he loses sight of them, him. Officer turns down and follows. Boom, now he's on the other side of the street fence. Tell him, what? How do you see him? Well, you, you saw him turn here. This is a slow, slow motion. He turns to the left. Hard pull. He turns, pulls his car around and boom. The officer has to stop. Because there's a fence right in the way. A ghost car is on the other side of the fence. There isn't the gate. No. There's a solid fence all the way around. See? That's creepy. It gives me a chills now. This video is over 500 million hits online. So a lot of people have seen it. But it's never been investigated. This is from a, this is from a law enforcement officer's car. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Great. Oh, good eyewitness. It's a good video. I don't, didn't see the gates. I don't see how we went through that fence. Maybe it's a fence. It's a ghost. I've seen a ghost fence. We have good witness. We have an actual physical, tangible location. We have hidden hardware. The fence, the car, everything we can do. Lots of parents with. That's why I think we should invest go investigate it. I want to go. I really want like to go as well. Looks like we found the first case. General, what else you have for us? I actually found a pretty interesting case. It takes place in the UK. A woman named Tanya Pittman. She has kids, and the kids keep coming, claiming, coming. They are hearing noises from their bedrooms. Wait, whoa, from the parents' bedroom? No, they from their bedrooms. Okay, gotcha. Continue, I'm sorry. Oh, one night, a 12 year old son, he is. Whistling from one of the bedrooms. He gets freaked out and picks, he picks up his cell phone, turns on the camera and he runs upstairs. He catches the shadow boy downstairs. Oh, sorry to get it on the business. But how, but see how he jumps? Oh yeah. See, he has been reflecting on his wall and sort of staying. I'm saying there's a lot, there's a light over there here. There's something walking across the outer camera. A frame, but he can't see. He's casting a shadow across here. Looks like he's coming this way. But in fact, it's being projected from here across this and being against the wall. Do you think that's good enough to go up there? Or here? No, I've been, I want to go, I got, I just got to say no. Ben, sorry, Daniel. I know, we can be your number on this one. But Bill, I have some UFO footage shot by Jeff in Wales. In the Amazons, if you play it, you see that there's some unusual movement of these lights in the sky. So why don't you roll? All right, here we go. Man, so I think you know. Whoa, just doing a little bit of search. I found there's a bunch, I mean, a lot of eyewitnesses. As you saw this event, none of them could describe what they were. There's a miniature base close to this area. Bill Lo uh, Air Force Base, yes. Well, then how do we know that it's not? There's some normal flight pattern for some of those, these planes. It could be, and some, it could be coincidental. What happens to show up just when the lights appeared in the sky. Some of these sightings have been looked up before, and that being just military flares. It, is that maybe we're seeing right here? A matter of fact, I saw a lot of footage of military flares being dropped. I want to point out something very obvious differences here. So I'm going to play, hit play, and look at the characteristics. These things drop straight to the ground. Yeah, it looked like nothing like it. Even if there is a little pressure in them, it must plummet. That they don't. Is that? Isn't this place they call the UFO parking lot? They've heard a particular one, but I found wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, they would call it that. The guy is filming. It sounds extremely excited. I mean, it sound. It does sound. Doesn't sound like he's faking this. I don't like this. We've got two compelling videos. Got a very compelling video. A credible witness who, who has a lot of experience in the US of the meditation. Plus he's a good, have a good, have a lot of work as far as experiment. Daniel Austin, you come with me to a Savannah. We did a ghost call investigating. Bill, Larry, Jevlin, you guys head out to the Zaranona to do these lights. Chilean, sounds great. All right, let's pack up, huh? 
Let's pack up, guys. Coming on a matter of fact, of fitch, fate, paranormal novels. Daniel, oh, Daniels, I turned up. The only thing I see is tunnel lights on the other side of the fence. Tunnel lights appear near the maze mountains right here. Begin hyper jump. Go, Austin. Absolutely insane. Oh my god. Wow. We both were wrong. Did you hear that? Oh, Bill, I'm thinking. Well, if we go to Arizona, maybe we're going to do some experiments. We have a ghost in Savannah, Georgia. I think we should go, go investigate it. We are in Savannah, Georgia, one of the most haunted cases in America. I've seen this video quite a few times now. I think it'll be the first time that we're going to be able to meet the actual officer who was in the car. Joel Ryan. It's very, pretty exciting. I'm sure there must have been quite an adrenaline rush. Austin, I think he's right there. Let's do it. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing today, Wayne Daniels? Glad to meet you. It was so excited to be here. What would you, what would I love to do is to take you back to that night? I think that maybe you could take a look at us for a ride. Show us the exact route that you guys took. Love to, right? Shall we go to, go ride? So this is where it started, right here. Yeah, this is where it actually started. This is where I noticed him weaving in the road. You can see him hitting the Monet markers and fog you light. Right about here, where I hit the blue lights, he hit the gas, and off he went to the races. Right here is where he actually did, made it a U-turn. I pulled out his driver's door, and at a point he shot on around me. It took me a second to get round. He was accelerating up to Wins, up Winsville Road here. So there was a split second where you didn't have him in sight. Next thing you know, he's far up the road. Correct. What do you say? He took off at his usual quick speed. The prize that he was able to accelerate that fast. He had on the right here was 307. The wind came about as I turned in. The only thing I could see to tell is the other side of the fence. I said, I, I says, I say no. He didn't do that. He did. I actually would like to take a closer look at that fence. fence. Obviously, like I said, the fence has been changed. Time didn't have a gate and stuff. The fence would have been on the back side of this pole. And did you actually come up, inspect these brackets and these tiles, and come up and check the fence where the car went through, and then you were missing it? Could you, could you actually tell me? You witnessed him going through the fence. I can't, didn't say it. Seen it. I mean, the paranormal realm, been, it would never have to be so extremely paranormal that happen. Or the only other notion, option is the car I had to go under, though, a possible launch over that fence, correct? Well, I think that's about it, does it? We really appreciate your time, Jail. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. I think you've got two different things going on here. One of the very logical, hard, tangible stuff. You've got a need to test, and the other, the paranormal stuff. Right now, I'd like to get back and doing the tangible. We've got the stunt guy, and we're going to be setting up some experiments we talked about. Awesome. Can we do that? Do it? All righty. Let's go, Jail. Let's do that. Hey, Michael. Hey, Ben. How are you? Good. Well, good. Are you ready to do this? Are we actually ready to play? We're to get it set up here. We have enough officer behind us. We're going to ch- be the chase car. I'm Sergeant Myers. You call me Sean. You've got the roads blocked off. We do it we'll do in all four directions. So we're just going to leave this car parking lot. And you do your first turn. You, turn. you do simple and seven of speeding. Nice. Well, Joe, we'll be using some radar guns. We'll be testing the speeds further down the road. We'll see what happens. Cool. Oh, just, I'm just kidding. It's bad habit. Yes. Ben, so about ready to start a first experiment, which is a U-turn experiment. In the car, it's first car video. The first car takes his U-turn and takes off. As so I say, he's sipping actual speed, leaving the officer wondering where he went. We've got, so we've got this our stunt car. It almost is like, it's like our ghost car. The professional driver we are executing these U turns. We have our own chase vehicle. This is a police department vehicle, which Austin will be driving a running shotgun. When I've been with Ben the group from the start, from the very beginning, my background's in biology. I also a thrill seeker. I love adrenaline rush. You even puts me right in the centre of that action. I absolutely love it. I'll stunt car can duplicate the U turn and get the same distance away. That would help. For further explain that maybe this was a paranormal event after all. Joe, right? 
So we're in all the shoulder, we're all at the shoulder road right now. We've got the whole road shut down. The cops, no, everybody's a standstill. Bruce is ready to go, apparently. We're ready to go to us. You turn at the moment. I'll send him currently riding shotgun in the front seat of our buddy Sean, who is an officer of Garden City Police Department. We're getting ready for our first experiment. My heart's ready. It's on a race. Blood's starting to boil. We're going to be do, doing a high speed pursuit, trying to react to the exact video that we have. We have cameras in the car. The cameras on the car. We've got cameras everywhere. See, we can't get every single. And prove to see that it's actually something paranormal, or something that can happen. Michael's going up. He looks like he's ready to go. He's ready to do this. We're on the other side of the ditch. Just in case things do get a trail, we're not in the way, so we won't die. So we won't, don't die. Yep, we're ready. In three, two, one, we're about to ready to start our first experiment. If our stunt car can duplicate the U-turn, maybe this is wasn't a paranormal event after all. In three, two, one, go, Ben. We're up to 50 miles an hour now. I really worried about we've got going to be able to duplicate the disappearing new turn. We turn it and trying to duplicate it of some specific, very specific maneuvers, which makes it very risky and very dangerous. Austin, is that about how far away? You would follow somebody in a normal suit, Sean. My ass, yeah, about this distance. You have uh, ever lost it? Someone in a U-turn has seen a car disappear while making a U-turn? Well, that's why it's swerving like a video, in a video. Hitting 56. Now let's get out of the way. That's it. Austin is definitely out of sight right now. You know what he's seen. We're going to see if we can catch up with him. Then he, there he is, coming out the front. I can see a glimpse of his tail. I can barely make a little bit of red. It's exactly how it looks in the video. But this is how far away some kind of some dramatic driving Absolutely insane, Ben, all right. Austin, this is what I'm talking about. Seriously, so looks about, but almost like, just like the video, we definitely got the footage we needed. And yeah, T just right. Ben, you're hitting it like an iron dime. I think we got it, what we needed from it. Super. Let's go over the fence. Let's do the fence. Let's make it happen. Where you will follow you there. This, so this is what I'm talking about. One of the most prevalent theories. If the car hit the ditch for getting to the fence, and maybe launched it up and over, right here we're going to get, we've got this ramp, we've been built up, we've got our fence, we're going to see, we can do it. The fence is about exactly six feet high, just like our other fence that we had. About what, about what, so officers, Daniel's taught about the car doing 40 miles an hour, that's what we're going to let her mate do. He's going to go out, hit, hit, go, Take the this thing about uh, forty miles an hour. Hopefully, he's going to get clear of this thing. Do I like how dangerous is something like this? I have a lucky coin on. As good as long as I had that on, never been hurt. Ready? Here we go, Ben. Lucky, ready. Way well, mark. Three, two, one. Here he goes. He just he must. Oh, he just made that. I can't believe he made that. Oh, he didn't even take the fence out. Wow. Yes. Wow. Didn't even face. Hey, mate. Hey, hey. How are you? Are you okay? Oh, good. Uh, yeah, you're right, good. Right, the car's hardly even dented. Okay. Now that you've finished, do you think that, that somebody, that all the equipment and all the safety gear could have gotten over something that is about getting hurt? No, they would have completely gotten hurt. Okay. I said, let's get this man out. Yeah, look at this fence, guys. Unbelievable. The fact that this is the original location, a small ditch, there's, never even, there's nothing even comparable. It's a marmalade, man made, set up perfect ramp. In no way, especially during the sharp turn they did, got enough speed off a small ditch to clear the fence properly. Perfectly. I think we've proven it possible, not how, how, proving it is not possible, not how possible. You're correct, yeah. I think we better try to keep a few, we keep trying a few more tests, because I think this is not what occurred. Then suddenly we're here in front of a fence. Not exactly the same height. I mean, I'm six six. The thing about six feet. Some of the old fences that we had over here, that's what we were doing, going to do. It's some move some of the fastest fence. We saw the Daniels and said we're missing. And you see up, see up here. We're going to take it secure, really sturdy, really rigid. But uh, down the bottom, we take off the bottom first. Now we're going to do this to drive the car for it and hope that the fence will come up. And let the car slide underneath it. 
It'll come right back down, like just like a video. So hopefully, in between, just like you did in the video. Like I said, there's very variables. We just calculate this journey correctly. Well, it does go straight through. We're pretty much blue part by riff. A ghost car, haven't we, Joel? I've been journeying some reporter. I've tried to over the world with just gates. That's the truth. What about, what about, what about here being on the steam? I can really use my skills to get the, the bottom. Look, one of the strangest permanent promises out there. Looks like we're about ready to go. All right, Ben. In three, two, one, here we go. Ben, what's been, we go, what are we going to dry, do? Drive the car for it and hope that a fence will come up and let the car slide underneath it. In three, two, one. Oh my god, wow, we're both we're wrong, all right. Well, what do we do with that? I don't know. It goes that theory. A place that definitely is still in place. Yet the whole top of the fence came off. Top, doing the top run. I honestly do not expect that to happen. Also, we just watched what the car stunt by Mike. And he goes, tail takes off, hit the fence, doing about 25 miles of her. It did not really do go as I have, we planned. The whole fence popped off. Nothing stayed, apparently. Either the fence wasn't stable enough, wasn't, wouldn't put together, or who knows, maybe it's just impossible. Can we see if it's chargeable? If it's chargeable, absolutely okay. Got to hoist it up and then move it on. Use it, move these. We're going to hoist the best fence back up. Attempt the experiment one more time. But Ben, I think this time we might want to do want to do is actually have four fence posts and as so two. I agree because we don't know how stru- strength much strength the old fence had. Maybe we we'll keep it from keep it from. I may think. Two of each, and this time instead of one. So what we actually realize what this place fence fell. Is uh, there top camps popped off? What happened? Because we took out too many of these fasteners. So what are we going to do? We'll go back and put a, a few more of these things on it. Hopefully we'll keep everything tack right about here. Do you think? Or maybe a little, a little higher even. I think we'd better go. We're pretty good. Let's have... And go uh, go another uh, run. All right, Gerald, this is our last try to get the ghost car through the fence. You don't pull this off and debunk it. I do not know. I don't do not have a reasonable explanation for how a car got through the fence. Maybe the whole car vent was paranormal. Ben, for, 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 for Michelle, really? In three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. I think it, this is a key piece of evidence right here. This could be our answer. I couldn't believe it. Yo. Yeah, we have a lot of notes to compare. So how was it? We just got back from Georgia. They tell it, us about it. So our first experiment was to try to get the car to go through the fence. Watch what happened. Michael, we ready? In three, two, one. Whoa, it's good. Whoa, whoa. My fairy. Can you believe that? It opens like a phantom theatre curtain. Oh my gosh, it does not. It goes just in time. Down just in time. Doesn't even deflect any movement from it. Here we go, side by side, his final result. He turns left, fence goes up, goes down. Wow, completely intact, no even moving. By the time the officer turns around, Officer Daniel sees the fence. Just as it comes right down and stops moving, catch the taillights all about at the same point. Tell me, tell me what's not, what's happened, that's it. This is a question, that's what happened at night. night. I don't think there's anything ghostly about that. Together we could say nothing paranormal about this case. Funny an answer, Bill. Thanks to you guys. Ghost case. Car, case, case. Go. So, the Savannah ghost car. Nothing paranormal about that one. Bill, how did the horizon lights go? Case go. Well, the horizon light, Arizona lights, a compelling video is seemingly credible witness. We came up with the same great ideas. How could we create that in the footage? Here's what happened. Bill, Jazz. How could you, well, are you, how are you doing? Doing well. How about it? Maybe we start by telling me about the circumstances you were in when you shot the video. Me and my friend said so we, we were going to do a video of your first documentary. Actually, went over there near these mountains right here about seven o'clock. And all of a sudden, four lights appeared. Lights of far right disappeared. They skipped in front of me in three. Let me ask you. I know we're really close to Luke Air Force Base. Is there any chance at all? The lights you saw could be military flares. Next day, called in Luke Air Force Base. They said only were well, they were not dropping flares. There were no planes up at the time. Is there any way you could make this camera? Is there any way we make 
can take this camera from you. Yeah. Jeff, make it good meet, great meeting you. Good to meet you. We're heading out in the area, and Jeff Wells could a video. A turn case, this, put this, this case. We're going to set up a base camp. We're going to conduct a series, conduct a series of experiments. See if you can recreate what we saw on tape. Let me grab the green of Ryan Gray back here. Here's lasers. We're going to do, just do set a plane of glass. We're going to shoot lasers in it. And I'll show what anyone can actually do. This is a very simple spirit. It puts lights in the sky. So if it's time of day, I'm called it. I'm a TV journalist and I love photography, which comes in very really handy. I am analyzing photos and videos during my Paris on research. I'm a new natural born skeptic. I think that my experience will keep, help us determine if the lights are optical or loot for hoax or some real, de- real deal. It's going to be the camera's point of view. So night after the second peak, in between the first peak and the second peak, you want to see these lights coming on and off and off. I know in video specials during the day, my real love is paranormal speak research. What am I doing? Well, which I've been doing for 15 years. Right then does help me catch hoaxes. Like some people think there's this case jumping lights. I think, if you don't think about the height of lights, the height of glass, it's like it can be here, from here to here. You don't want this glass to slip. You don't have another pain. Don't tell me that. Grab the end. I'll grab this end. Okay, very good, Jenny. Wow, guys, this is some setup. I think we should hunk out down for a little while. Let the sun go down. Slip down to the horizon. Resume the experiments. Hey guys, conditions are like perfect. It's like we've got an amount of ambient light. It looks like we've got, we have, what, like what we had in Jeff's video about a small window of opportunity. No pun intended. We're going to turn on the camera on so we go ahead and try to get the same angle we saw in Jeff's video May 12th. Now I always loved paranormal. I carried a love for paranormal all the way into college where I met Ben. He asked me to join a group of specialists. A no-brainer. Easy decision ever made. Going to have a couple of minutes done for this. Going to use green grenade length, which is the more powerful. The two, between red and green. You ready, Larry? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, on. Chin in. What we're going to do is just set up a pane of glass. We're going to shoot lasers in it. And now everyone can actually do this very experiment and record it. It's simple experiment and record it. You ready, Larry? Yep. Oh, all right. You see it? I see it very well. Look, so let me look through your room finder. Oh, yeah, this, there it is. There it is. Really convincing with both sides of the plane. It makes two different orbs. They're independent. Look at them. It's, now it's a three. Yeah, you're right. Oh, gosh, it, might, it actually works. It's working. I can't get the movement the same. I'd like to keep it out of line. Otherwise, this happens. So how, do, how does it do that? I see how it does that. It doesn't happen in the video. You know what? The motion is just not right. The pattern that I'm having a problem with is flaring. But when we saw in the video, laser and glass is not similar. It's got similarities to the video. thing is we can't nail the movement down. We can't get a pattern to duplicate what we did had in just the video. I think we should have just moved in the next experiment. I want to get blooms up. All right, Jerry, grab down the toolbox. Just enough time to set this up. So let the jump on this. The six balloons this that flake to six feet. Balloons gonna host the lamp like this. When this is inflated, I like that. Oh that'll be like that. It's a dimmer panel. That's right here there. It f stay in the dimmers. But you turn each other like turn each other light on and off. Hopefully you look like it like hyper jumping. But if I, because one light light will go off. No one goes on the other side. Gonna get the balloons inflated one by one. You guys are gonna send them up to get another person like you. Gonna be controlling the lights. Turn them on and off. I'll be at the vantage point. The right down point of the horizon. I'm seeing it and paving it. it looks similar to Jerry's video. It's just a possible with his imagination. Okay, ready? Think about it. Six feet. Tip thigh. Gonna fasten Bill. It's gonna go to Nick itself. See their hands shaking. Bill and tight. That's tight. You catch your, don't catch your fingers. We'll attach a lantern. So here we go here. Alright, very good. We have a lot of work to do. Got a lot more wiring. Got to find the opposition to the field. We'll jump on the control. We'll get these things wired up. Give her a little tighter. And ready to go. We've got six tools. All of them 50 foot. Feet. And that's we're going to get ready to lift them up the horizon. 
the lead is at a vantage point, because when I look at the video, it's right above the horizon where the lights were, I'm hoping that, that, they, that these balloons would disappear against the darkened sky, and we will see the lanterns. The balloons are hoisted up, fortunately. I left, I have Jeff's original camera be able to record using his exact camera. He's used to recording 205. So then the balloons are set up in the same patterns we saw. With all the old lights, all right. Let's go and wait in mass control. When we get the okay, I'll turn these guys on. That's it, all right. Very looking good. Okay, guy. Hey, guys, look up. Heads up. I've been lighting. Just about where it was on just video. Lighting is good for the next probably, the next probably three minutes. Begin hyper run. Begin hyper jump. Go. Hey, Bill. You see the UFO magic out there? Actually, it's looking really good. For him, I think we concluded this phase of the experiment. We just went to balloons. It looked okay, okay, but it isn't exactly the same as just video. It's time for us to do the nightmares of investigation. We're going to put some cameras on the ground, and as well as pointing at the sky, we're going to hope to catch something as it happens. Find some evidence, evidence. Chilean Larry, excellent work. This is part for that all the reports of UFO activity have been sent around. Where we've got four IR cameras set up. We're covering the whole mountain range. We're seeing one of all the videos. So keep your eyes on the screens. You see something? You've got to let us know. Some of the videos have looked like crafts have been coming low on the crisis. It will feel like the flares have fallen. We have contacted with the ground. So they look, go look for trace of evidence. Sounds good. Okay, let's make the count. I'm hearing something over there. Did you hear that, Larry? See something off on all the cameras? Larry, it's right now. I mean, I see the star in the sky here. There's only anything unusual. I don't see anything. There's something unsettling about the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Shine your light over there. Well, that light, that's the second time I heard something. I'm hearing something over here. Be all to Larry. Keep your eyes peeled. There's the left side of the mountain range, please. You keep hearing some sort of movement out there. What exactly are you hearing? A kind of, maybe like a low humming noise and a thump. It looks like, I'm looking like at the camera. And you're in front of the right now camera. I can't see anything in the sky. The ground and the vantage point is very limited. I can't see anything. Seems like the closer we get to this mountain range, the more we're hearing this humming round. There's fuds. No, I didn't enjoy that sound. Bill? Come, Bill, come in. We're looking at the star in the sky for a while now, but it's moving. It's definitely not a star. Oh, we're going up and down, back and forth. Look up there, Bill, come in. Been looking at a star in the sky for a while now, but he's moving and definitely not a star. Go up and down, back and forth. Look up there just to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. We do. We see it with our naked eye up right here. No camera lens, no zooming, nothing. We can see it. I don't know what this is. Turn on. Oh my god, it's moving back and forth, back and forth. Very erratic, like any light. In the sky, it's definitely not a satellite. Look, moving away from us, it's gone. At first, it's moving at such a steady speed. I don't think, I really do think it was a satellite. But now I'm watching it. Did it, did it then cut, did it then cut left? Then it's going to right again. Satellites don't go into orbit. It's not a star, it's not a planet. It's not a moving, it's not moving at that pace. I don't know any aircraft that moves in a zigzag thing. So they've been out there for, for hours. I mean, it's funny. Been able to capture something. Was well, on the ground like the other were hoping. It's actually seen in the sky. It's then I could, could have asked for. More than I could ask for. More than any of us could have asked for. Bill, we witnessed some lights in the sky that defy explanation. There's time in the night. There shouldn't be any airplanes in the area that we know of. And then these lights was different from satellites. No object that have been in the sky we know of. We, we need to get back to the situation room. Is then the video we captured. To try and decide what it is. We do it in an interview with Jeff Riley's. We took the recording and, uh, and analyzed the same technology used in law enforcement agencies. So we're going to actually pull up the results of, of that. I want you guys to take a look. Man, it, it's, if they did hoax it, we'd have to know how they did it. Because there's no idea that could be done. So, you can see here, it, it says truth. You're obviously telling us this is the most compelling evidence you've seen or recorded. There's some great video in that evidence inspire us. We had a couple of experiments. We had a couple of experiments that had a hope so that one of them was a labor equipment. It looked good, but it did not work. Get, didn't get the motion. We moved to balloons, electric lanterns, and they were able to get motion. We weren't have the attitude that they, 
That wasn't Kingston either. They now since the night time, Elijah had just got hunkered down and cut out the night time investigation. As during the night time investigation, we hoped that we could find maybe some trace evidence. And we called something ourselves. I was, we caught something in the sky. We caught something on tape. I believe if you look, could look at the clip, we are cued. You see for yourself. Let's see what you got. Awesome. Whoa, whoa. Look at the speed. The thing is holding. And sure, it's not like a helicopter. It's completely silent. It was moving far too fast. And the aircraft is what we know of. It's definitely not a satellite. Satellites sometimes can see. Can, you can see the naked eye. But now they move. They move very slowly. Very slow across the sky. It's going in one direction. You're watching. Just watching it. All of a sudden, you could cut back to another direction. There's your philosophy. Like Bill said, I don't know what any other craft is capable of doing something like that. Simple speed of that thing. May it well, made it well, we could only say this mysterious UFOs of the sky of Arizona. And what happened, we get on tape. So, what do you guys think? It looks like, it looks to me that this place is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Can't replicate the original video. We caught something on camera we didn't identify. With the video breathes new life. It's a notion that the UFO activity over Phoenix. We can all see it's a flying object. It's unidentifiable. There's something out there. We don't know what it is.